What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and this is the loot update number three. So I'm supposed to make these at the end of every week, so Sunday or Monday they're supposed to come out. This is Tuesday simply because I forgot. I'm so sorry, I'm not perfect. And the three people who have watched Faulty Towers will get that reference. Anyways, let's go over the loot I got. Now, um, first things first, Soros Regime. I'm going to be doing you know, a video on this when I actually level it up. Anyone who has gold stuff knows it takes give or take 1 to 2 billion years to level up anything gold, which is super annoying. But, uh, you know, you just got to really do bounties. The problem is, is that there really isn't any bounties that are, you know, beat the nightfall or beat the raid, which is 90% of the stuff you're going to be doing when you're high level. So when I level this bad boy up, hopefully I'll have a guide for it. Now, most people have this. I remember when this came out on, Tuesday, on uh, the weekend. Um, the Soros Regime, it was basically, multiplayer was like Destiny Soros Regime version. It was just so much of this gun. Now, the cool thing about this gun is if I shoot it, uh, it shoots decently fast. Now, I aim down sights, and it shoots quite slow. And uh, with the slower fire rate, it is uh, a little bit easier to aim. And it's going to be shooting uh, m definitely faster than um, another... Um, like than any other scout rifle, uh, it, like a hundred percent shoots faster than most scout rifles. The problem is, is like uh, online, this is a very, very good gun. It, it shoots online though. You are going to get beaten out by people using faster shooting, um, assault rifles like the shin gun and stuff. So it, it, it's good. It is very, very good, but it's not, I mean, it's very middle of the road. It's not as good as being as some other scout rifles I've had. Like I like this scout rifle better it just does way more damage is the one I went over last time with the, you know, shooting an enemy causing it to explode. And it's not as good as some of the auto rifles up close, but in between, it is very, very good. And so being good, like, at ev on almost every scenario, being a very good middle-of-the-road gun makes this an excellent gun, and it looks pretty damn cool. Now, going over uh, some more stuff, I got this was uh, the end of the Nightfall. This is just a fast shooting. This is actually a dead orbit gun. It's just a very fast shooting uh, dead orbit gun. Now, I, I did have a blue one at one point that had, like, stability and stuff. Now, this does have useful enough, like, this weapon goes more accurate the longer you shoot it. And with a 72-round magazine, I can see the combination of these two things being very potent. But I haven't unlocked it yet just because there's usually just better stuff I'm using. Uh, I'll give this a try, though, this week. Um, legendary shotgun, as usual. This thing is absolutely like uh, an absolute beast. It just does so much damage. And online, like the raid shotgun, online it just kills it too because of the fully automatic is frankly unfair. Um, going here, I have a couple different swarms. Now, I'm actually going to have to change characters to show you all the loot I got because uh, I started a new character and I'll explain that a bit. But the swarm is good and I got two different swarms, one shock, one solar. I'm using, now I have two different exotics. I bought this, last time I went over that I bought this helmet. The problem is, is that I often use Defender and this helmet only um, has two things for uh, the Striker Titan. So I decided to buy this chest plate. Uh, also being sold at the same uh, uh, at the week that the source regime was being sold but this chest plate its abilities are revive teammates faster spawn more orbs which is just seems like being able to spawn three orbs with a defender instead of two and i also have some abilities that make me spawn you know more orbs every once in a while like uh, killing kills with heavy weapons and uh, the uh, shield taking damage so i just thought this this would be a very very good team dynamic um, chest plate and also being able to respond fa uh, revive guys faster is also useful if you are using uh, a defender titan uh, these are the raid legs i've had for a long time i'm using whatever you know thing looks coolest i don't really care about these i haven't gotten any super impressive ones um, and other than that my armor has pretty much stayed the same like once you get you know a decent gold and you've leveled up some purples you kind of just stay that way for quite a while. Now I'm going to go to my different character right now. And I'm going to explain that you should 100 bazillion percent have two or more characters. And the reason is, is like the guy, the first guy basically ever to get to level 29. The first person to get to level 29. What he did was he made three hunters and got them all to level 20. That allowed him to do... 
the raid like three times because you can do you can get loot um, from the raid uh, in on each of your different characters so it, what he would do is again he would you know play his level 28 or whatever it was at the time hunter then he would put all of his loot in the bank and then just switch characters you know grab the loot he would be back to level 28 because you know going past level 20 is just your the items you carry so you would be able to do all of the stuff that gets him really really good loot three times now of course that is no lifing it quite a bit and I would recommend though just get a different class this hunter is pretty darn good I basically made this hunter uh, because I got uh, the crest of the alpha lupi gold chest plate for the hunter from a purple engram of course while it was the titan and I was just kind of like fuck this I'm making a hunter I want to be able to use like the one gold I've gotten so here's my hunter um he has quite a lot of stuff because I had just done the nightfall and the raid with him because um, I had already done it with my Titan, going over you know the same reason I just told you, it just gives you a second chance to get the really good loot. Um, this is a Kreen's Wrath um, helmet, very useful. This is a chest plate I got. This thing is pretty badass. I really like the look of it. I was lucky enough to get when I was doing the raid yesterday. I got these gloves, which was the last thing I needed. I had the boots. I even had a chest. This gold, and then this was a Queen's Wrath. I needed just the gloves uh, for purple, so I got them. I'm extremely happy I got them. Um, I got this from the raid, too. Now, this is an amazing scout rifle. First of all, it's fully automatic, but if I'm holding the trigger down right now, sometimes it'll just randomly stop. And anyone who has a fully automatic scout rifle or pulse rifle will know, you, you know, you're shooting guys, and it's going well, and suddenly it'll just, like, stop. And you have to restart, press it. And that's not a big deal uh, as much in... PvE, but in PvP, if you were expecting your gun to go fully automatic and it stops without your knowledge, that fraction of a second is going to result in your death a lot. And it's really, really frustrating. I really hope Bungie addresses this. Now, I also was lucky enough to get uh, this bad boy, which was supposed to get an update today and give it void damage, but apparently didn't. So that's um, kind of pissed off about that, but oh well, uh, this was from a bounty. This is the bad juju This thing looks cool as hell and walking around and having a glowing like if you're around the tower It's on your back and it glows green. Uh, it looks really really cool I'm just really impressed with how it looks but anyways going back to the scout rifle again so useful because solar so like when you're doing all the raids and and not not raids, I should say nightfall and really high level strike missions and stuff. You have, you know, guys that only have solar shields. So you have to use like solar stuff to down the shields or arc or whatever. The problem is, is that with by having a primary with solar, it's just so much more, more useful because usually you're relying just on your secondaries and on your heavies to deal with guys in those scenarios and having to be able to rely on your primary to get rid of some shields is just so helpful like this thing because it was solar burn the week previous um for the nightfall and stuff on the nexus this thing was doing massive damage like absolutely phenomenal damage like a thousand five hundred per critical so i cannot emphasize enough how good it is to get and this was a raid weapon so if you beat the raid uh, you have a chance of getting these different elemental primaries which i cannot again i cannot emphasize how important they are when you're doing the higher level content now some of the stuff i've just transferred to this character like this a uh, sniper had gone over last time just an excellent sniper um this was from my titan uh this is my other swarm as you can see the culling sucks dick not even gonna go over it the cure again these are just really to this cure is not very good either but these are really just to diversify myself with the different elements because when you're doing again the nightfall you're gonna want different elements that's extremely important so that's pretty much it for the loot i have acquired yeah two queen's wrath things love to uh break them down in a set of materials but i missed that boat anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to rate comment and subscribe for more destiny content and as always have a good day Thank <laughs> you.